The waves that you can see here are actually really, really important for the animals that live here, especially the filter feeders, because they help to bring their food in, for example, the mussels. And even the anemones will sit there with their tentacles out, grabbing bits and pieces of passing food. When the waves are coming over it, bringing with it the microscopic food in the water, this barnacle will put its legs out into the water and will grab the food floating past. When it's low tide, the barnacle closes up so that it can keep the moisture inside its body. And then when the waves come up, those two plates will open and it'll stick its legs out for filter feeding. Barnacles are related to the crabs. It also has an exoskeleton, just like the crab, which is quite important because it has to molt in order to grow, which means that they have jointed legs. Now that's hard to believe when you're looking at a barnacle like this. But remember that the barnacle uses those jointed legs lined with little hairs for feeding. This rock crab, what he's doing is he's picking off food from the rocks and you can see how he's using his nippers to pick the food off the rocks and he's putting it into his mouth. His mouth is actually quite complex. There are a number of different mouth parts. So what will happen is they pick the food off the rocks, put it into its mouth, sort it out and then swallow it. So it's quite an interesting way of feeding. No one ever thought that a rock crab could be quite this dainty as it feeds. This is the exoskeleton or the shell of a crab. The crab has got jointed legs, which are very, very clear here, just like the barnacle's got jointed legs. Here, jointed legs, very, very clear and easy to see. If we turn the crab upside down, we can easily tell whether it's a male or a female by looking at the abdomen. The male crab has a very small, narrow abdomen tucked underneath the body, whereas the female crab actually has quite a wide round abdomen and it's wide and round because it'll, she will store her eggs under that abdomen. So if you pick up a molt on the beach, you can actually quite easily tell whether it's from a male or a female. Often the molts that you pick up on the beach are not dead crabs, they're actually just molts because remember the crab has an exoskeleton. So it can grow and grow and grow, but it reaches a stage where that skeleton is actually too small for it. So it'll climb out of the skeleton and start growing a new one. And the molt that you pick up on the beach is that exoskeleton, so it's not a dead crab very often. This particular little guy we've got here is a swimming crab and you can tell because his back legs are adapted for swimming and that's quite different to the rock crabs where all of their legs are the same sort of legs for running around on the rocks. 